Coming up next on ATE TV. Industry partnerships. It's essential for the college to have external partnerships with industry and business because things are always changing. Energy education. We're looking for people who are interested in energy and energy conservation issues as a career. And computer technology. Computer field is expanding, and it's just going to keep expanding. And if I can get in there, we should be set. Now on ATE TV. From across the country to your own backyard, ATE TV shows you the many advanced technological education opportunities available at your local community college. Bristol Community College has partnered with leaders in the mechanical and environmental engineering industries to craft hands-on instructional programs. Let's take a look at how these programs give students the skills they need to start high-paying, high-demand careers. essential for the college to have external partnerships with industry and business because things are always changing. Our students are in this program to get a job. We bring in people, speak with our students to let them know what type of careers are out there, what the requirements for that career is. They know our students, they know our programs, and they know the quality of the work that our students can do. So that it, it keeps when I started looking into different fields with a lot of availability for work, there was more in water treatment technology than anything. My instructor set me up with an internship at a desalination plant. State-of-the-art plant, top of the line, it's $80 million worth of <laughs> equipment. I like to work with students as interns first so that they get an opportunity to see how the operation is in a plant and I get an opportunity to see how they would work in a plant. You have to be knowledgeable about pumps and motors and pipes and fittings and things like that. I like to have people that have a knowledge of the sciences. The program at Bristol Community College certainly has that. Because this one should be powered up. A key piece of the community college and of the technical programs is we are required to have an industrial advisory board. And their role is to come in on an annual basis, look at our curriculum, and tell us, do we need to update anything? Are we creating the kinds of skill sets that they need in their employees today? You want to make sure that your students are well prepared for the job opportunities available. And so having those partners are essential. We discuss what our programs are about, but mostly we listen. If they find a weakness, we make sure that we're addressing it. If they find a strength, we make sure that we continue doing things that way. I like the program. I've worked with their students over a number of years. It works very well, especially in a setting like this. You have an opportunity to put some time in and get some experience and see if it's really what you want to do. It's a lot of opportunity for people that are interested in this type of work. With continual input from industry partners, programs like the ones at Bristol Community College are successfully preparing their students for exciting and challenging job opportunities. For more information, be sure to visit your local community college for more on the engineering programs they offer. As businesses and homeowners look to become more energy efficient, the demand for qualified energy technicians is soaring. We're going to look at one community college that's preparing their students to hit the ground running in the expanding field of energy conservation. We're looking for people who are interested in energy and energy conservation issues uh, as a career. You will use that printout to demonstrate that your building is compliant to energy code. At St. Clair Community College, we are preparing students to enter into energy workforce workplaces. The, the heated space, that's the model for this part. Yeah. In training these young people to do energy audits to do PERS performance testing, to do green build issues, is really where the future is right now. The problem is not going to be uh, a market. 
it's going to be having boots on the ground to service that market. And that's where the community colleges come in. This school is very good at preparing you for jobs immediately. Most students with a two-year degree typically go into the field of their choice and find a job. Our energy codes are becoming tighter and tighter every year because people are becoming very much aware of how much energy can be saved by paying attention to energy efficiency. What I see coming down the pike is where we do actual blower door tests or duct blaster tests to actually verify that performance of these cells. And when that comes into code, then that's just going to create numerous jobs for our students. I'm continuing my education and furthering my knowledge and going into a field that's up and coming. Somebody get windows, somebody gets a side, somebody gets that. A lot of the energy industry is something that you can't outsource. No one's going to outsource doing an energy analysis on this house. This has to be done right here. You know, mechanical systems, their installation and their operation and their maintenance, that is something that can't be outsourced. If they really want to make money, this is where it's at because it's the future of the technology. Everybody on the planet is going to have to do it. you got to start somewhere. There are so many areas that they can venture out into that if they have an interest in even just one of them, they'll be able to make a nice living in the years to come. There's going to be more jobs available than there are people to fill it, but that's what St. Clair is going to do. Those students are getting the education they need to meet the growing demand for green technicians. If you're interested in finding out more about energy education programs near you, be sure to visit your local community college. Are you thinking about changing careers? Maybe have a love for computers? The students at the Springfield Technical Community College are learning the skills they need to become successful computer technicians. Take a look. Here's your router, it'll go to the firewall. My name is Francisco Nofel. I'm enrolled in Computer IT Security, where I'm trying to get my associate's degree. I do virtual clone. Right now I'm taking four classes. One is uh, Advanced Security Topics, which is classroom now. Okay, after you're able to ping through the, the hallway. I was looking at a lot of community colleges out there. This one's local and a great school, especially in the computer field, where uh, they're up to date with all their technology. So I felt this was probably the best bet for me, and I think it is. So you have to set up the firewall with two net cards? If you're in this field, you can pretty much go anywhere. This field is one of the best fields to be in, and I believe they're in the top 10 right now that are still rising. A couple years ago, I worked at Lego, where I you know, drove forklifts, did a lot of inventory, basically in the distribution uh, center. Business wasn't doing great, so we got laid off from Lego, came here. <laughs> I was always into computers, I loved it, still do. Saw the opportunity to come and get my degree. Coming back to school is, is definitely rough, especially if you got family, kids, you know, you got a wife that's working, kids, you know. I get homework, they get homework, so I can't do mine when I get home. I gotta wait, help them with theirs. It's pretty rough because my wife doesn't drive, so I gotta take her to work, drop my kids off to school, try to get here on time. You're gonna start setting up firewall rules on your router and firewall rules on your RC server. My wife, uh, she knew the time that was going to be involved in this and she sees it as a great benefit because she knows the computer field is expanding and it's just going to keep expanding and if I can get in there, we should be set, hopefully. <laughs> Francisco is working hard to achieve his goal of becoming a computer technician and he's taking advantage of the opportunities his community college has to offer. If you're interested in learning more about computer technology programs, be sure to visit your local community college. And for more information on anything you've seen today, explore our website at atetv.org. Thanks for watching.